Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, and welcome to the cheapest gold players in Madden 16. In this video, I'm going to show you the cheapest gold player at each and every position in the auction house on Madden 16 Ultimate Team. And at the very end, we'll be able to see how many coins it would actually take to put a full gold team together. This video could potentially be pretty helpful for anybody out there looking to put together a very cheap team to play either online or just to go through and grind through the solo challenges with. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The cheapest gold quarterback in Madden 16 is Ryan Fitzpatrick with a buying out of only 500 coins. He's 76 overall. So looking at his stats with his best stat being an 88 throw accuracy short, his stats aren't that bad. And the cheapest running back is Michael Bush, also a 76 overall, going for a whopping 300 coins. Looking at his stats with a 93 carrying rating and he's pretty slow, he might be a pretty decent goal line running back. Dvorsky Lane is the cheapest fullback with a 72 overall rating and he's actually pretty expensive to be the cheapest fullback 5,100 coins that really just shows you how expensive the fullbacks really are this year and a very quick tip for you guys if you're actually looking for the cheapest available player at a particular position for some reason when you're actually searching for the specific position as a whole and you search for the lowest buy now player it will give you let's say Denario Alexander for 400 coins by now but if you actually go and type in his name you'll actually see there are cheaper Denario Alexanders on the market at 300 150 coins rather than 400 so i really don't know why it glitches like that but i guess it's just a glitch in the system and that leads us to the cheapest wide receiver in madden 16 with that being denario alexander at a 75 overall worth a whopping buy now price of 350 coins at 6.5 with 90 spectacular catch and 93 jumping it could actually be a pretty decent deep threat the cheapest gold tight end is garrett graham at a 75 overall and honestly guys there are a ton of cheap tight ends on the market there's probably like six or seven different tight ends that go from anywhere from 300 to 450 coins so looking at his stats though pretty decent speed with some decent catching stats so not an awful option at tight end moving on to the offensive line the cheapest left tackle in madden 16 is luke jockle the left tackle for the jacksonville jaguars at a 75 overall his buy now price is a whopping 350 coins looking at his stats okay stats a 96 impact blocking worth 350 coins I definitely think that's worth it. So Gabe Jackson is the cheapest left guard in the game at a 77 overall worth 500 coins. And for only 500 coins, you can get a left guard with 91 strength and 91 pass blocking. So I definitely think that's worth it as well. So Roberto Garza is the cheapest center in the game, 78 overall worth 400 coins. Looking at his stats, some pretty decent stats all around, although he's very slow, which is obviously expected for offensive linemen. At 450 coins, the cheapest right guard in the game is Mackenzie Bernadeu from the Dallas Cowboys at a 75 overall, only paying 450 coins for 96 strength. And by far the cheapest gold right tackle in the game is Gosner Cheerless from the Indianapolis Colts, going for a whopping 300 coins, only 50 coins more than his quick sell price. 88 strength with a lot of stats in the high 70s or so at 6-7. Now moving on to defense, starting with the left end position, the cheapest gold left end in the game is Mario Addison, a 76 overall from the Panthers with a buy now price of 350 coins. Looking at his stats, all pretty average stats, 88 acceleration stands out. At right end, the cheapest gold player is Will Smith at a 75 overall, only worth 300 coins at his buy now price. All his stats are pretty average in the low 80s, and I know I'm not the only person that feels completely trolled when they pack this guy, but the cheapest defensive tackle in the game, that is a gold tier, is a 75 overall CJ Mosley, not the elite middle linebacker from the Ravens. Only 300 coins at his buy now price, but if you look at his stats, they're not that bad. Obviously, he's very slow. He's a big guy, but the rest of his stats are actually pretty good. And now, one of the cheapest gold players in the game is the left outside linebacker, Steven Nicholas, 75 overall, going for only a 200 coin buy now price. That's just absolutely ridiculous. If you look at his stats, too, I mean, not that bad. 90 pursuit, 87 acceleration. The cheapest middle linebacker is Dequell Jackson, actually a 79 overall for only 350 coins. Coins. Aside from his speed and zone coverage, he actually has very decent stats. Kelvin Smith is the cheapest right outside linebacker in the game at a 75 overall, only worth 350 coins by now. And look at those stats, man. 89 speed, 94 acceleration with 83 hit power and 88 pursuit. 87 tackling, man. 
for only 350 coins, man. I keep repeating myself, guys, but the price for some of these players are absolutely dirt cheap. Now moving into the secondary at cornerback, Dwayne Gratz is the cheapest at 75 overall worth 300 coins. Look at those stats, not too terribly short. Decent stats, 75 zone coverage is a little low. You can pick up a gold free safety for only 250 coins. Antonio Allen from the Jets, 75 overall. His stats too, pretty slow. And those are actually probably the worst stats I've seen out of any of these players yet for every position. But still, 250 coins for a gold player. And for the last defensive position at strong safety, a 76 rated Jaquan Jarrett going for only 450 coins. 87 hit power, 85 pursuit, 9 acceleration, not too bad. Now things get a little bit expensive as we move on into the specialist. Pretty much all the kickers and punters cost a decent amount. And the cheapest kicker on the market is Sean Susham from the Pittsburgh Steelers at an 80 rated worth 9,000 coins. 86 kick power with 95 kick accuracy. And last but not least, at the punter position, the cheapest punter on the market right now is Brett Kern, 81 rated worth 7.8 thousand coins. 88 kick power and 92 kick accuracy is not bad at all. So after adding all those prices together, including kicker, punter, and fullback, which were pretty expensive, the team would cost 27,750 coins. But if you could deal with a silver fullback, kicker, and punter, your team would only cost you 5,800 150 coins that's ridiculously cheap for a full gold team minus those three positions but anyways guys that is going to do it for this video hopefully you did enjoy something a little bit different if this video can hit 50 likes you'll see the most expensive gold players in madden 16 within the next couple days be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will catch you guys next time have a great rest of your day peace